Welcome back to Tutorial Tidbits. I'm Elizabeth St. Hilaire and this is week two of my gel print tutorials. Um, I'm coming to you from my garage studio in Carmichael, California. Uh, we are sheltered in place in California and I have found um, that painting right now is difficult for me. It's difficult for me to engage in the process of painting and so I have been enjoying my gel plate. I've been enjoying the process of just making colorful prints and I wanted to share with you uh, so that you could share with those people in your life that you may be sheltered in place with. Um, kids can enjoy this. Um, people who say they're not artistic can enjoy this. So this is the second week. We're gonna take um, leaves this week and make some leaf prints on the gel plate. So I want you to um, I want you to use the paints that you have on hand, whether it be full body or fluids or craft paints. Uh, get out your gel plate and your brayer and um, get out some pa a paper uh, that is not precious so that you can just enjoy the process and not feel as though these leaf prints have to be frameable art or feel that you're using uh, really important paper. So uh, uh, speaking of not important paper, I've got this great book, 500 pages on the fundamentals of plasma physics. None of this means anything to me other than the fact that I've got 500 pages to play with on this plate. So get an old book, get your kids homework, get um, some sheet music, get whatever you have around just so that you don't feel like it's precious, so that you can just play and you can enjoy the process. So we're going to use leaf prints this week. We're going to uh, use some of the, some of the um, techniques from last week. So if you want to look at last week's video, um, but I'll catch you up as well. And um, let's just have fun. Let's just enjoy uh, taking a few minutes away from what's going on in the world and have some fun with our gel plate. Thank you. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to give you a, um, another gel plate project to um, experiment with and have fun with and just to play with. Um, it's uh, something that is a great way to pass the time if you are spending time sheltered in place and um, it can be fun for all ages and I think you're really gonna enjoy it. So I've got um, some golden fluid acrylics, but you can use whatever paint you have on hand. You could use uh, the tube paints, you could use craft paints I want you to feel like you can use whatever you have on hand because we're just playing all right I'm also uh, I've got a I've got a brayer I've got some leaves from my yard and I've got my gel plate my gel plate and I've got a stencil uh, that I'm using which is one of my own designs um, I'll give you a link for that if you're interested but if you've got a, your uh, a stencil on hand uh, use that so so um, basically I'm going to work with pre-printed gel papers that I've already done and I'm going to put leaf prints on top of those but for those of you who are new I'm just going to quick run through how to get uh, a base layer for this so you don't want to start on white paper you want to start on a light colored solid so I'm going to start with uh, a light yellow I'm going to roll it out on the plate I'm gonna pull a print of that light yellow solid on an old book page that I have. So now I've got a really bright, nice yellow solid. Now I'm gonna make a second interesting layer on that. So I'm gonna go over it with a slightly darker yellow. And that's not that much darker than this, so I'm gonna add a little orange to it. See if I can darken it down a bit. There we go, so now I've got a nice light yellow orange. I'm rolling the paint out. I'm taking the stencil, putting it on top of the paint, and then I'm taking my light color that I prepared and I'm printing the stencil print on that. Now I've got a fun stencil print on this sheet. I've now got paint that's trapped underneath in this great pattern on the plate. I'm gonna let it dry for a minute. Once this layer is dry, I'm gonna now add more paint right on top of that. So I'm gonna go over it with this uh, quinacridone magenta because it's a darker color.
I'm going to roll that paint right over the, the print that's already on there, the ghost print that's already on there. And when I roll that out, I'm going to get another sheet of paper from my old book I've got here. And I'm going to pull a print that is going to give me, whoops, I'm off center. It's going to give me both layers at once. So I'm going to get the magenta and the orange all together. So this is the second print. So there I've got this beautiful magenta and orange together. So that's basically, um, I played with my stencil and got these. I've done stuff like this, all with the same stencil. Some papers like this. So we're gonna be working with pre-printed stenciled papers, pre-printed gel papers. And the more interesting this bottom layer is, the more fun the leaf prints are gonna be when they show through. So I've got some old uh, notes on this, ledger pages, and more of that. So you're gonna take your gel prints that you have previously done, and you are gonna use those to create your leaf prints. So now we've got the leaves from the yard, and we're gonna go over those previously done prints with a darker color has to be darker or opaque. The teal is opaque. Uh, metallics are opaque, so they could go over the top of this, or something much darker, like Van Dyke Brown, or Dioxidine Purple, or something much darker than this. So I'm going to then put, uh, I'm gonna have this ready, and I think my dark purple will be nice with this color combo. So I'm gonna put paint out on the plate, Then I'm going to lay my leaves right into the paint. I don't know how well that one's gonna do because it's really sideways. So let's do this one. And that one. So I've got my leaves on top of my dark, and then I'm gonna take an interesting print that I've already done, and I'm going to press down, applying pressure with the heel of my hand and then going all along the stem, making sure I get down in between all the spaces along the stem. And then I get a beautiful, stunning leaf print pattern. Isn't that gorgeous? What a great color combo. So darker on the top and an interesting layer underneath. Now I've got paint trapped under these leaves, so I'm going to lift them off, and I've got this beautiful leaf pattern. Now I'm gonna grab a lighter, this green that is prepared to go, and I'm gonna put that right there to pick up the ghost print of the leaves. So now I get this great positive impression of those leaves on top of my previously printed green paper. So then it's just a matter of playing with color combos and the papers that you've already made on your gel plate. Now, these leaves have gotten dark with the dioxidine purple, so when I go to orange, I probably want to get a new set of leaves. If I'm going to stay in cold, cool, dark colors, like blues, purples, then I don't need to get new leaves. So for this one, we could go with the teal because it's opaque. We wanna make sure we clean this sprayer though. So I'm gonna clean that by rolling it, rolling it off onto a clean sheet of paper off to the side here. Now I've got my gel plate directly on my Kraft non-stick craft mat, my Ranger nonstick craft mat. Now any paint that goes around the edges here is just going to wipe right off of this with the, with the baby wipe when I'm done. So this is a great surface. The gel plate does not stick to it. It's clean. It either, the paint either scrapes off just like that. You can see it scrapes right off the acrylic paint. It will not stay on this. You can either wipe it off or scrape it off and you've got a perfectly clean surface every time you work. I love that because it allows me to see clearly what I'm doing without paint and stuff all over the, the edges. And I love that it just scrapes right off. I don't have to even scrub at it. So anyway, that's my nonstick craft mat. I am going to go over this one with teal.
there you have the basics of leaf printing. You can do this with stuff you have on hand. I hope that you will enjoy playing with your gel plate and your brayer and the paints that you have and some old book pages and some leaves in your yard. Now, if you don't have leaves in your yard because it's still March or the beginning of April, you can use silk leaves, you can look around and see if you've got a house plant or you've, if you've got a bouquet of flowers, um, get creative. You could also cut some leaves out of other materials such as Tyvek envelopes from the post office, those priority mail envelopes. They're kind of plasticky. They're not really paper. You could cut leaves out of that. Um, get creative, but enjoy this play with it, uh, recruit the people that are hanging out with you of all ages and different artistic levels. This is fun for everyone and it is just playing with paper and your gel plate. So thanks for being here and happy Friday.